Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm about to show you my workout for the day. Today I am doing a full body workout. I am incorporating um, some dumbbells into this workout for just a couple moves. So you can also do this as a body weight exercise if you don't have dumbbells or if you aren't ready to use them yet. The first exercise I'm doing is high knees. So I have my interval timer set for one minute and my goal is to keep my knees lifting high and don't stop moving for the whole minute. Here we go. Oops, there we go. So make sure that you breathe the entire time. Keep those knees high. And like I said, don't stop. Make sure you breathe. going more than halfway done about 20 seconds left to go let's push Next we have man makers, right? Yes. Okay, so for this exercise, I have my weight and um, what you're gonna do is put your weights about shoulder distance apart. You're gonna squat down, hands on your weights or on the mat next to your weights if you don't have enough room to grasp. Jump back to a plank, you're going to do a single arm row, single arm row, jump, back goes flat, weights come to your shoulders, thrust it up. That's one, back to the beginning. Two. Three. So form is always very important. Flat back, up, press through the heels, press it up, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. That was nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Keep that core pulled tight when you jump back to plank. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen, two more. Nineteen, last one. Twenty, 
Next exercise. Next up, we have runner's lunge jump. Okay. So shake out those shoulders. I'm feeling the plank challenge I posted on Facebook in my shoulders right now. Okay, so for this one, I'll show you from the side. It's very similar to mountain climbers, but you're gonna take a bigger step and hop forward. So if your flexibility isn't quite there yet in your hip flexors, you can do mountain climbers instead. So mountain climber is to thrust your knees forward. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take a big step forward, step your foot to the outside of your hand. So you're in a runner's lunge right now, both hands on the floor, and then you are going to jump and switch your feet. So to the outside of your right hand, I'll show you from the front. That was one, two, three. Drop those hips, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, next exercise. Next we're doing a timed bicycle abs. Okay, so I have my timer still set. Um, bicycle abs, you lay on your back, low back touches the ground, core pulls in tight. So pretend like someone's about to punch you in your stomach, you're holding it tense, okay? Hands um, go behind your head. Elbows stay as wide open as you can keep them, so we don't want cheating and keep limited range of motion where your elbows come together. And then you're gonna tap opposite elbow to opposite knee. So keep those elbows wide. Okay, here we go. Try and keep that core tight. And those elbows spread right apart. Heels pressing as you stretch out your legs. And again, keep breathing the whole time. Keep breathing, keep moving. Ah, uh, less than 20 seconds left, I think. Keep breathing and moving. Ah, uh, next exercise. We're doing a cross step plank. Okay. So for this one, you have two options. You could do this with or without a push up added. But what you're going to do is come into your plank position. And if you're doing it without the push up, you'll step your right foot underneath the left side of your body, stretch it out, and then right foot. If you're doing it with the push up, same thing. Except once that foot's over there, you can keep a slight bend in it. Push up, that's one. Two. Three. Four, my fingers are pointing slightly inward for the push-up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, next exercise. Next we're doing the leg series. Okay, so for this one, you get to lay down on your back. And 
the way the leg series is counted is just a little bit different. It's three parts, so we're gonna do 10 reps each part. You can put your hands to the side or next to your body. Heels press into the ground, hips lift, core pulls in tight. You're gonna extend your right leg first, weight is in your left heel. So first we're gonna do 10 leg lifts. One, keep those hips high. Two, three, four, five, six, <clears throat> seven, eight, nine, Ten. Now we're doing ten hip presses, so drop it down, up, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Combine it. Down, up, drop. That's one. Down, up, drop. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Oh, I need to stretch that out real quickly and then on to the other side. Good job keeping your weight in your heel. Thank you. Your planted heel. That's very important so you activate your glutes and your hamstrings correctly. I tried to show that, but I'm a terrible cameraman. <laughs> I think you do a good job. Oh, shucks. Okay. So, again, weight in your heels, hips lift. We're going to do the left leg this time. So, one, two, three, four, five. Keep those hips lifting. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Drop it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Combine it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Next exercise. Next, we're doing bird dog reach. Okay, so we're going to go onto our hands and knees for this one. Um, and what you're gonna do is stretch out your left foot and right arm first. Core pulls in tight. You're gonna press it back and then out to the side. So your knee turns um, so that it's facing toward the wall, not down toward the ground. So your toes not down, it's out to the side. And then back and your toes point down again. So that's one. Arm and leg reach and back, that's two. Three, four, five, six, reach and lift, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway done, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, same thing on the other side. So actually I felt that in my glutes on my standing leg, not on the one moving. Here we go to the other side. So stretch that leg out, opposite arm reaches, and then out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway done, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, last one, twenty. Next exercise. All right, last thing, high knees. Yay, okay, and then we're down, done with round one. So here we go. Same thing as we started with. So I'm really sweaty now, <laughs> literally dripping. That means I already know I put in some good work. Heck yeah. So keep those legs moving, knees lifting. Check that you're lifting high. And as always, keep breathing. <laughs> More than halfway done. So don't let yourself be too tired. Give it a last push to finish the round strong. So pick up that pace. Ah. Okay guys, so that's round one of my workout today. Check out the breakdown. It will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, plus over 300 other workouts I do to get in shape and stay in shape and to train for my first fitness competition. So check it out, benderfitness.com. I hope to see you there. Have a good day.